guys, do you remember me? <laughs> it feels so weird holding this right now and talking to the camera. I keep like looking over to the side and I'm like, no, that's not what you're supposed to do. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. So much to update you guys on. So much has happened. So much. So I figured today we would <laughs> kind of do like a little update slash I have a Christmas haul for you guys. Maybe go through some Christmas decor or start taking down Thanksgiving decor. Something along those lines. But let's just let's get in with the most exciting news okay so first i want to just take a second and say okay well my kitchen's a mess let's just get out and get that out of the way um today's monday both the boys are at school right now tristan is now in school um just two days a week and only for a couple hours so i actually have to go get him in like an hour but i figured perfect time to start this video up um but on Mondays, my house is like always a mess. On the weekends, it just, it gets so messy. Okay, just let's ignore that. I don't even know the last time I posted. To be completely honest with you guys, I have gotten super discouraged with YouTube. And I just decided to take a step back. It takes a lot more work to do this than you think if you don't do it. Like, the filming part's pretty easy, but when it comes to like editing, and even the filming part, it just makes everything so much longer, especially when it comes to like decorating or things like that. And then you start to get really caught up in why is that person growing and I'm not growing. And um, there, it was just like mentally taking a toll on me and I wasn't feeling as passionate about it as I once did, but I've been missing it so much. So <laughs> that is why I am working my way back. I'm gonna try not to like give myself a bunch of pressure and just do it for the enjoyment like I used to. Um, I wanna say thank you guys so much to those of you who have reached out to me and asked where I've been and you know, just said that you missed my videos and stuff like that. It's like the little things like that really do mean a lot and kind of give you that spark back when you hear people that actually watch your videos. There's a fuzzy, I don't know if you guys can see it, but unpaid actor. <laughs> so, Thank you guys so much from the bottom of my heart for checking in on me and everything. Um, it really does mean so much to me. But that is the main reason why I stopped. I also have realized since we've moved into this house, I just don't have the same motivation that I once did. I think it's because there's just so much work that has to be done in this house compared to the old house was like already put together and... I don't know. Um, I guess I feel like slightly embarrassed about certain things that are like in the background and just things that have to be done throughout the house. But I'm trying to let that go because <laughs> building a home is a marathon. It's not a race. It is what it is, I guess, you know? Over the time that I've taken off, some things have happened. One majorly big thing, if you follow me on Instagram, you would already know, but... Baby number three is coming in March. March 23rd is my due date. When I'm filming this, I'm actually like right at the halfway mark. I have my 20 week appointment today, actually. Um, so excited. We're not finding out this time what the gender is. So that's super exciting. Um, I get out of breath so fast, so <laughs> sorry if I'm like panting over here. I found out on July 22nd <laughs> I was supposed to go out with my friends for my birthday that night and I did still end up going out but as a DD I had like a super strong feeling. I woke up at like 5 a.m. that morning and was just like I'm finally pregnant and went and took a test and sure enough finally pregnant. Um, so again on that note I feel like everything happens on God's time when it's supposed to happen and I'm trying to remember that moving forward with everything because if you guys have been here for a while you know that I we tried for like three years to get pregnant with this baby um so we're super excited I actually when I first found out I was pregnant that's when I was gonna start filming again um and I filmed <laughs> when we told the boys so I will insert some of that here yeah, yeah. Say I'm the Brayden, what do you think? Brayden, is 
that your new brother or sister? Yeah. Tristan! Tristan, what's in mommy's belly? Are you a girl? Yeah, it might be a sister. I want a sister. Yeah. Tristan, boy or girl in mommy's belly? my camera broke like the next day I'm actually using my mom's camera right now um, and for the foreseeable future until she takes it back from me <laughs> so um, that was super discouraging it was like okay so am I not supposed to be doing this it's like every time I go to start something with it something happens um, but it was kind of nice because then I got to take those few months where I was super tired and just like relax I was actually working this summer which again if you've been here a while I've been a stay-at-home mom for seven years seven years um but this summer i just went back to waitressing just a couple nights a week but when i was it was great i loved it until the pregnancy fatigue hit in and then it was super exhausting because i was doing nights i wasn't getting home until like 12 1 in the morning and then waking up with the boys the working thing that's done now <laughs> it was just for the summer i thought about maybe going back next summer but probably not especially with the baby continue the stay at home mom life <laughs> It was nice to get out for a little while though, but I have missed you guys so much and I am so excited to get back into this, but again, I'm going to do it. No pressure, no expectations. Um, I almost like like the vloggy style better than like the set up the tripod all the time, like even when it comes to decorating and stuff. So I hope you guys will just stick along with me and those that have, I'm so appreciative for you guys, like seriously. So much appreciation for you. But let me know in the comments what kind of stuff you would like to see from me moving forward. Of course, we're gonna be getting into Christmas content. That was like the kind of the main thing that was like, yes, now is the time. I'm ready to do Christmas. So um, with that being said, I guess we'll go right into my Christmas haul. It's not at all super big. This is another thing I've realized is that with YouTube, you kind of feel the pressure to buy all the new stuff for each season. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to get like, you know, if I want to buy things, then yes. But I don't want to feel the pressure to like buy all new things just because that's what the influencers do or whatever. I have so much stuff as it is. I'm sick of bringing like so much into the house and spending so much money on it. So I do have a few new things, but it's not a whole lot. But you guys back over here. I feel like the lighting is better there. So I actually got the majority of my stuff from Walmart this year. Um, I actually just came from Walmart, so the first thing I got is probably my favorite. I got this cute little gingerbread house warmer. How singing cute is this? I do the gingerbread theme in the kitchen, and so I figured this would be absolutely perfect because the kitchen is where I always have my warmer as is. Um, I think it was like $14.97 or something like that. So not too bad and super cute. And then, I'm literally out of breath. <laughs> um, this cute little guy i ordered him during a grocery pickup and i'm a little disappointed because they gave me one with a chipped nose i don't know if you guys can see that right there but that's disappointing so i'm gonna go and try to exchange him if i can but it was only 6.98 so seven bucks super cute um i love these just like on the hutch or on shelves you know little filler pieces this next one is more of a christmas present but if you have littles that like squishmallows walmart has these ones which are like the 12 inch ones i believe 12 inch does it say I don't know but they're like the bigger size ones you know like not the little tiny ones they're pretty decent size and they're only $14.98 they had Santa they have Mrs. Claus they have a gingerbread um elf like super cute ones I got this one for Tristan because Brayden I got um a Pokemon one with a Santa hat on it so I've been like on the lookout for one for Tristan so I just got him a little Santa only $14.98, that's a steal for Squishmallows, especially holiday ones, if you know, you know. Now these I got because, <laughs> again, being influenced, um, Amazon has those like viral bells that everyone was getting. They're like $30, a 4.3, they're super 
beautiful I'm not going to lie but I saw these at Walmart and I was like why am I gonna spend $30 when these are $12.88 um, and I mean I don't know what the Amazon ones look like in person but these look just fine to me I'm probably gonna hang them off of my fireplace garland I picked up a two little rugs so this one's gonna be for my porch again from Walmart this one was only like $9.98 I believe um, I'm gonna put this underneath our porch rug you know porch mat uh this is by holiday time and i just thought it was super cute and Christmassy. and the bottom is like a non slip grip which is nice and then this one i think was 12.98 um it was just a couple dollars more but this one i got for my kitchen i might go back for a second one because i like to put one in front of my sink and in front of the oven and i love this it's just super Christmassy and cute and super inexpensive because I have bought ones like this from Target that are pushing $30. So I thought that was a super good deal when I saw this. This is by Holiday Time as well. I grabbed this little balloon art kit. I thought that was super cute for the $5.48. Um, the little man that comes. He usually does a big breakfast, North Pole breakfast. And I thought this would be super cute to decorate with. Not Christmas related, but for Brayden's Thanksgiving school party. I, I do all his parties at school um, for this year and hopefully future years but you know I just thought these little plates were perfect for the kids. They were 268 for 10 so kind of pricey but cute. Lastly from Walmart my mom actually got this for me. It is this plush blanket with the trees on it so soft so cute and it was only like $15 they have so many different options Highly recommend checking out Walmart this year if you're like trying to stick to a budget. They're so inexpensive and so cute. I was very impressed by everything. Definitely could have gotten more, but again, I've been trying to be very like cautious of what I'm bringing into the home and I've been trying to get rid of stuff even though it doesn't look like it because I have so much stuff. Okay, so there's not too much more left, but I went to Joann's and I got these pillows. Um, so actually my old living room pillows that I got from Target last year that I spent like 60 bucks on for the two of them and I loved them. They were my favorite. They got like moldy out in storage. So I was very disappointed to see that when I took the Christmas decor out and I'm going to start storing my linens inside. I wish we had like a finished basement to store stuff, but we don't. So it's a little hard to store, but I thought these ones are really cute to replace them. I like to go for the green for the most part with like little hints of red in the living room. Um, so these were originally very pricey. They were originally, it doesn't even say. They were originally $59.99. Don't pay that. <laughs> uh, I got both of them for like 40 bucks together. They were, I believe half off and then I had a coupon and they ended up being super inexpensive. So I grabbed those. These ones are definitely thinner than my Target ones too, but they'll work. And then Target, I actually mainly got stuff from the Dollar Spot. So the first thing I got was this. It's like a little village setup, but perfect for filler pieces on the open shelves in the kitchen or tiered trays. This was $5. Again, I go for the gingerbread theme, so I just thought that this was super cute and perfect. Again, gingerbread theme, I grabbed this set of dish towels. I don't even know if I have some from last year. I probably do, but I feel like you can never have enough because they're, again, good for layering pieces and, um, you know, they get dirty. So this was $5 for the two. Then I got this little gingerbread cookie jar. Um, this is pretty small. I don't think I'll actually use it for a cookie jar, but it's super cute. It was $5. That's it from Target. <laughs> and then I just grabbed a couple things from TJ Maxx. So the first being this candle. I thought this was so adorable and it smells so good. Um, my favorite scent for Christmas is like the Christmas tree scent. And this, this is that. <laughs> it was $12.99. And of course it's got this super cute lid as well. And then I grabbed these little dish sponge because how adorable. Perfect for the kitchen, $3.99. That is everything. Everything that I got for decor this year. <laughs> Not very much. Very inexpensive um, compared to like what I would usually buy. And that's the goal. That's the goal. If you step outside with me, I had Floyd help me carry up all my Christmas bins the other day. So I had them up on the porch just to start going through. And like 
I have plenty of stuff. Like this is what I've started realizing and just really come to, you know, really stick with me is that why do I need to buy all this new stuff when literally I have one, two, three, four, five bins of Christmas right here that's not even including all the trees and outside decor and wreaths and all that stuff. So much stuff that works just fine every year. So I think getting a few new pieces just to kind of sprinkle in is nice, but I'm trying to slow down on it. I think I'm gonna start this year with my kitchen and porch. I actually have something exciting for the porch. I'm hoping Floyd will go with me today to pick that stuff up. And then I'm just gonna slowly kind of go through it. Again, not try to like rush myself at all. I'm gonna go get the mail while I talk to you guys. <laughs> I don't want to rush myself. I don't want to feel overwhelmed. I'm like just trying to get up the content. I'm not used to this camera and I am white as a ghost right now. What's going on? So, of course I want to get it up in a timely manner, but I'm just not going to pressure myself. I like to get my Christmas decor done before Thanksgiving as it is because I like to be able to relax during December and like really enjoy the Christmas season. So, that's the goal. That's always the goal. This feels so good. <laughs> this is just gonna be such like a chatty, like probably boring video, but it feels so good and I'm here for it. I've missed this. I've missed you guys. While I'm outside and I hear her screaming to me, I don't think I've filmed literally so long. <laughs> I don't even know. Um, we got some new, some new little animals. You guys wanna see? Do you hear? <laughs> So we have a pretty um, ghetto rigged fence right now, if you will. It's like an old like dog run thing. Eventually, you know, it's on the list. It's on the list of a million things to get a nicer one, but we got some chickens and we gotta go over there. They're eating now. They're more worried about eating than they are about me right now, but <laughs> this is why we are like okay with all the work that we have ahead of us, even though it's gonna take us a long time because you know stay-at-home mom income <laughs> is because we're still in the area we want to be in we're still in the school district we want to be in which is a city but we're like right on the outskirts which allows us to have the animals and the land which like the old house we didn't have at all and basically any other houses in this area it's not possible so it's like worth it in a lot of aspects but then there's definitely different times where I'm just like I think we just need to go buy a house that we don't have to put work into but overall Floyd and I can both see the dream in the future even if it takes us like you know 10-15 years <laughs> but again with the land thing like we just bought the boys a four-wheeler this summer too um we would not be able to do that anywhere else in this area we live. Like actually have somewhere to ride the four wheeler. This is ours that I got for Floyd for his first Father's Day. But then the boys got this one and they love it. As you can see, it's all muddy. <laughs> they both always take turns on it and they love it. So it's things like this that like make being where we are so worth it. I also got a new car this summer. All the things to update you guys on. Um, we got this Honda Pilot, which is three row, and it was literally like days later that we found out I was pregnant. So we were like, wow, that is perfect, a perfect timing, but I love it. I finally got the mom car I wanted. Um, I showed this on Instagram too, but it's a mess right now because, you know, it can't be a mom car without a mess. But, oh my gosh, I almost forgot my turkey back there that I picked up. <laughs> I need to bring that inside. Good thing I showed you guys. Um, but it's so nice having the three rows. Brayden likes to sit in the far back. <laughs> and we have like the DVD player and just like all the things that we've never had because we've never bought like fancier cars. We've always gone for cheaper cars. Um, so it feels so nice. So nice. We love it. Bring this dang turkey in real quick. I ordered all of our Thanksgiving food yesterday. Um, and Walmart was out of turkey. <laughs> they tried to give me like a small one so I canceled the turkey and I just had to go get it from a different one just to make sure we have it. <sighs> just like that it's already time to go get Tristan. I swear the two hours I have to myself go by so fast. <laughs> I had to go to Walmart this morning too so of course that you know that takes up like the first hour. 
<sighs> now the chaos begins. I was just pulling out my tripod to do like a little kitchen clean with me and the tripod's broken. This is the stuff I need. <laughs> the like part that the camera sits on is just missing. I have no clue where it is. I never even knew it came off. So I guess we're just gonna keep it more vloggy style today and I'll have to get a tripod tomorrow so I can start filming Christmas decor content. However, I just picked up Tristan. He's not in the mood to be on the camera today. <laughs> Floyd is on his way home from work right now because he's coming with me to the 20 week appointment. Um, I'm so excited. And we haven't had an ultrasound since like 11 weeks. So I'm so excited. Floyd's home. Let's go filming. You're filming for once. Yeah, that's crazy. <laughs> it's been like a whole year or something. Literally. Um, we just left Tristan with my mom and are stopping at Lowe's quick to get some things that I want for our front porch. Look at all these little trees. Can you guess what we're going to be building? <laughs> okay, so it is the next morning. It's like 5.30 in the morning. I definitely did not film as much yesterday as I had planned to. Um, our appointment didn't go exactly as I had planned. Um, and I just kind of mentally checked out yesterday. This pregnancy, I've, since I haven't filmed, you guys don't really know how my dishwasher's going right now. I'm really sorry about that, but um, it's been kind of a roller coaster from the beginning. It's so hard because we tried so long for this one. It's like I want to soak up every little thing and it's just like every little thing has been so stressful. Um, so the pregnancy started out, full update for you guys. Like I said, I found out I was pregnant on July 22nd and um, by like the few following days I was spotting a lot. Um, so I went to the doctors and they kept doing blood work and the blood work was all good. But then on my birthday, actually July 29th, I ended up in the ER because the spotting was just continuing and I just wasn't feeling comfortable with just the blood work and um, I was having a little bit of cramping and stuff. Um, so they ended up doing blood work and an ultrasound and everything and I ended up having a um, threatened miscarriage in the beginning. I had a sub, looking at my phone here. Um, a subchorionic hematoma, which is like a hemorrhage that is bleeding under one of the membranes that surrounds the embryo inside of the uterus. So um, that was at first, I was considered high risk, but they did say that typically those will just kind of like bleed out on their own, which thankfully did end up happening, but like that was just so emotional for me in the beginning. Um, I was constantly just stressed and worried about it. And then, as we've moved on, things have been okay. And then we just went to the 20 week appointment yesterday and um, the ultrasound technician, I could just like tell something wasn't quite right. Like we got into the room after and I said to Floyd, I feel like something's like a little off or something because the ultrasound technician kept um, saying just like randomly like oh they're gonna go over all this with you in the room they're gonna go over all this with you in the room but like she wasn't like saying anything so i was like okay where are they gonna go over but so the doctor came in and she ended up telling us that the baby has one umbilical artery so basically let me get up my medical terms here so basically the umbilical cord usually contains two arteries in one vein um, and the baby has one artery in the vein. Um, so the artery that's missing is the left artery, which I was told is more common than the right one missing. I guess the right one missing usually leads to more issues down the road. Um, but basically the one artery missing can make it so the baby's not getting enough nutrients and whatnot to grow as the baby should. So, just keep the baby in your prayers for us. Um, I'm going to be going every four weeks for ultrasound and stuff to keep checking the growth of the baby. Um, ultimately, if the baby's growing fine, everything should be okay. I was already going to be getting um, induced like at least a week early anyways because I also have gestational diabetes. <laughs> so that was 
diagnosed in between there as well. Um, but if the baby's growth is not growing as it should be, then I would have to go earlier. Um, and it can affect things like the heart, the kidney. It can also affect like um, the baby with Down syndrome. All of my blood work for that has came back okay, but just keep the baby in your prayers for us. It feels, oh, I just feel so defeated. Like I said, we tried for so long. I'm gonna cry because I just get so like uh, anxious feeling. <laughs> I don't wanna cry. <laughs> We tried for so long and it's just like, I'm just, I want to be able to soak all this up and now I'm just ready to hold a healthy little baby in my arms. But we did get some ultrasound images. Oh, that was the other thing. Um, the baby's heart, one side of it, they weren't able to fully see, I guess. So that's something that they have to check at the four, 24 week ultrasound as well. Um, because those are like the things that they'll be watching the most. So other than that, baby's growth for now is looking good. Um, but like I said, they couldn't see the, the heart, I guess. So anyways, we did get some ultrasound pictures. Baby was not cooperating for pictures, um, but here's like the little 3D. I am 100% guessing, boy, it looks just like Tristan's <laughs> ultrasound. Um, and then this one, this one is the baby yawning, the baby kept yawning like the whole time, <laughs> and then little feet, little feeties, and this one is the little hands. So yeah, um, this video definitely didn't go as I planned, but like I said, I'm not keeping expectations. I wanted to do a lot more with you guys in today's video, um, but then I got home. Our appointment was like two hours yesterday. We were in the ultrasound room for like an hour and then seeing the doctor and everything. Um, and we got home and I was just exhausted and anxious and yeah, spent some extra time with the boys last night. They always make everything feel a little bit better. Um, but thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for being here. I will show you guys the stuff that we got for the porch. I will be sharing that in the porch decor video. Um, we actually had planned to start that yesterday too and it was just, it was all a lot. It was all a lot. So next video after this is going to be some Christmas decorating. I'm actually hoping to start my kitchen today. Um, start and finish hopefully today. And then the porch and my mom is doing her Christmas photo shoots the next two weekends and she has to move a bunch of her stuff out into my like entryway room because she's doing it in her bedroom as like a bedroom set. So that's all going to be a mess for a few weeks, so those videos are going to have to hold until after, unless I magically get to I'm not even going to say it, it's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> thank you guys, though, so much again for being here. I'm so excited to be back. I'm not going to give you like a posting schedule or anything, because it's just going to happen when it happens. But I love you guys, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.